guys. Well, I decided to do a little experiment, a 24-hour experiment, mining with a 1080 Ti. It's an EVGA 1080 Ti SC2. This is the, the GPU that I have in my gaming PC. I'm going to be mining for 24 hours with this card to Ethermine, a fresh address, receive address. So zero, never have mined to this address before. I'm going to take a look at what type of uh, production that we get with the 1080 Ti. Now, it's going to be 24 hours straight. I'm going to be using the following parameters. So if I check out here, I'm going to be 70% power and uh, 73 Celsius target, although we'll be running much lower than that. I like to keep it below 60 C. The memory offset is going to be, uh, overclock is going to be 900 megahertz. There's our fan curve, so if you want to take a look at that, when we get up to 55, we kick it up to about 65%, and if for some reason things get overheated, it kicks up from there, all right? So that's basically where we are as far as the fan goes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start at 12 noon on today, which is April 29th, 2021. If we take a look at the current uh, prices of Ethereum, it's $2,792, almost $2,800, which I believe is a pretty close to an all-time high. Uh, yeah, so the all-time high was actually, I believe, yesterday at almost 2796. So this is a you know great time, I guess, to be mining Ethereum. Although the difficulty is pretty high, uh, we'll take a look at that. So we're going to be getting about 37 mega hash for the 1080 Ti. My power cost is about 13 cents per kilowatt hour. So here you can see we're going to be earning three dollars and nine cents approximately per 24 hours, or 0 0.0013 Ethereum. And there's our difficulty. Now, this could change over the 24 hours, so this may be different, all right? I'm not going to be using this PC for gaming at all for the 24 hours. It'll be just web browsing, stuff like that, light use. I would say we'll maintain between 36 and 37 mega hash, all right? And what I'll do is periodically we'll check in and see how things are going. So we'll get started here around 12 noon. All right, guys, almost 12 noon, just about to get started. I'm going to be using T-Rex. I've got it configured for my uh, receive wallet, and it should take about uh, 15 minutes for my worker to show up here on uh, Ethermine, normally what it takes. We'll start up this uh, this bat right here, which is basically configured to mine. And there we go, 12 p.m. noon. So we're going to hit this, and we'll start this guy running. And we'll set my settings here. I have it automatically set up in one of my profiles. So we'll get to the settings that we want. I'm not using the pill. I know people are going to put in the comments, use the pill, use the pill. I don't use the pill on this machine because it messes up my display settings. I know the pill is going to give me higher hash rate, but it's a pain in the neck when I use it. So if I had a mining rig, I would definitely use the pill. Uh, but for this situation, I don't use it on my gaming PC. Uh, so I should be getting between 36, 37. You're not going to see that here on the first share because I'm running OBS to record this. But So the videos I'll make after this will be with my, uh, my iPhone. So I can uh, not affect the hash rate by recording it on the PC. But let's just see. We're just making sure that we're, we're successfully connected. And we can see just to verify the, uh, that our... Uh, a receive address is correct, and it is. And we should get our first share here. We know that we're getting 30.2, so we'll get it. We'll get higher than that. We'll get between 36 and 37 once we turn off OBS. Let's just make sure we get a share, and then we'll give it a little bit of time, and we'll come back when uh, when our worker shows up. And I'm going to be doing periodic updates over the 24 hours just to give you an idea of where things are. There we go. First share. So we're in, we know it's working, everything is working fine. So for now, uh, I'll shut down OBS and we'll let this on my computer do its thing. Again, I'm going to be just doing standard browsing and working on a few things that I'm working on, but no like major use of the GPU, no video editing, no gaming, obviously. So just like basically browsing and we'll see how we do. All right, guys, check back with you later. All right, guys, so 17 minutes have gone by and we've mined uh, six shares so far. We're getting 37 mega hash on the GPU. Take a look at Ethermine and we've got one worker working there. So we know we're connected and there he is right there. And this will go up over time. So we don't have any unpaid balance, but this has only been, it's only been 17 minutes and this so over time will we'll start to add up. All right, so we'll be checking in periodically, guys. 
All right, 12.42, mine 20 shares so far. I just picked up the first unpaid balance notification here in Ethermine, so 0 .00001, four zeros and a one, uh, ETH right now in my uh, mining account here. So uh, I think when I hit 05, uh, 0.05 is when we uh, carry over into my wallet. So got a long way to go. We're not gonna do that in 24 hours, obviously, but uh, just to show you the status. All right, guys, so we just passed four hours of mining. We've got 153 shares total. And we've got an unpaid balance of 0 0.00026 ETH. You can see our estimated earnings is 0 0.0013 ETH, which is exactly what, what to mine predicted that we would do. And take a look here. We've got a hash rate of 37.5 reported uh, from our worker. So doing pretty well. And we'll come back with an update in a few hours. All right, 9.35 p.m., and we've got 333 blocks mined. Don't mind that 30% or 30 hash rate. You're going to see it start to actually go up here. Just was doing a few things on here, so we'll get back up to 37 quick, uh, quickly. And we're basically at the 0 0.0055 unpaid balance, and our estimated earnings for the one day is going to be 0 0.00122 all right and you can see down here we're getting 37 mega hash 37.7 mega hash on average so that's where we are at 9 30 p.m all right 11 25 p.m we're at 394 shares for 37.59 mega hash and here over on the ether mine screen we've got uh, 1.75 in u.s dollars unpaid balance on current rate of ethereum so if we go back to ethereum it's 0 0.00064 expected earnings 0 0.0123 and down here you can see we're still plugging 37 just about 37 mega hash so there we are that's the update for the night we'll see how we do tomorrow morning all right guys 7 48 a.m the next morning or next day i should say we're at uh, 645 shares Still getting uh, over 37 uh, mega hash with T-Rex on Ethermine. And we've accumulated 0 0.00099 ETH so far. Our estimated uh, earnings per 24 hours is 0 0.00115. So a little lower than uh, what to mine had predicted, but still doing okay. And we got 37.7 mega hash registered at the Ethermine. So a few more hours to go here. Uh, till noon and we'll be completed with our uh, our experiment more to come soon guys all right guys 10 01 a.m approaching the final hours of our 24-hour experiment we've mined 719 shares so far so 22 hours 52 seconds and we've got 0 0.00109 eth which by today's price is going to yield you three bucks so we got an hour to go and we've already cleared three dollars which is uh pretty much right on track we were i think it was 309 we said was the projected by what to mine so we're doing pretty well and we'll be back uh around noon to close this out all right guys 1208 on the day after uh, we've been mining for one day and eight minutes so roughly 24 hours 793 shares 37.58 mega hash and over here in Ethermine, we've got 0.00119 ETH in our unpaid balance. And if we take a look at the U.S. dollars there, that's uh, $3.24 in 24 hours mined with a 1080 Ti. Pretty good. You know, if we multiply this out, pretty good money on a monthly basis. But I'm going to shut off the miner now. Let's see. We're going to go over here. What I like to do is just go back to default. And then I just basically turn this, close that window. Now the miner is shut down. So we'll be back here in a few minutes with a wrap up and summary. All right, guys, so let's sum things up. In 24 hours on the 1080 Ti, we mined 0 0.00123 Ethereum, which equates to $3.42 US. Now that's based on today's price of Ethereum, which is $2,762. If you know, probably know uh, Ethereum has been on a tear the last few days. But let's take a look at what that means over time. Because you may say, ah, oh, 342 a day, big deal, right? Well, let's take a look at that. So again, your mining is always going to be affected by network difficulty. 
and also your profit's going to be affected by the price of Ethereum. Just always keep that in mind when you're mining. Now, let's just say you're able to mine 10 hours per day, which means when you're not gaming, you're a heavy gamer, you're using it for flight simulation or whatever. When you sleep, you turn on your miner. If you do that every single day of the year, you're going to make 520 bucks, 500 bucks. Let's say someone knocked on your door a year from now and said, hey, listen, you know, we've been putting $1.43 in a can for you every day. Here's 520 bucks. Would you say, oh, I don't want it? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'd be like, oh, gee, thanks, right? Or let's just say you're able to do it 14 hours a day and it's two bucks a day. And that same person knocked on your door a year from now and says, the $2 we're going in a can, here's $728. That's a graphics card. You could almost buy a 3080 for $720 if you were able to get it retail, right? So this is just an example how, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you don't make much money mining. Well, now, a lot can happen over a year. The price of Ethereum can go up, price of Ethereum can go down, mining difficulty can change. We're going to see EIP 1559 come in, which is going to reduce... The mining fees, I think, by like 30%. So these numbers could are going to change as well. So that's not factored in here. You got to think about that too. But in the end, let's say you're able to mine, let's say 12 hours a day. And in a year from now, you're able to mine 500 bucks. Well, that's a nice chunk of change in my mind. So this is why I use my gaming PC when I'm just browsing and not gaming. I always have my miner on. Or if I'm not using my computer at all, I turn off my one monitor, I just run one monitor, and I mine overnight while I'm sleeping, and just to add that money up. All right? So I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you're currently mining with your gaming PC, would love to hear about how things are going for you. If you disagree, would love to hear that too. Open to suggestions and comments, and always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for supporting the channel, guys. I hope this was helpful. Hit that like button if you like what you saw. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos on cryptocurrency and mining with your gaming PC. Guys, have a great day.